Hello and uh, welcome to tutorials from libreprogramming.org. In this part, uh, I will start uh, telling you about uh, um, PHP. PHP is an interpreted uh, web development programming language used for server side scripting. Now, PHP from the very base was designed for web development and it became very popular because it was the need of that particular time. Uh, PHP <coughs> has got very good facilities for web development. Yes, honestly, I do not like PHP as a programmer, but uh, there is no doubt that it is the most dominant programming language on the internet right now. So you have quite good opportunities to work for uh, if you choose PHP. Now, uh, the power of PHP can be exemplified by saying that Facebook uses PHP. Although they use hip hop and various other things to do many of their things. So the first thing which you should uh, do to get PHP is you install PHP 5FPM and PHP APC and Nginx. Now on my system all these are installed. Once these are installed, you can uh, actually open uh, etc Nginx um, sites enabled default. Now here when you will have the configuration default configuration after installation you will have a different directory here so you should make it where www and uh, after that we reach the php section and we start deleting things one by one so i want you to comment out these lines okay let it be there comment this because we'll be using port not the Unix domain sockets so that's it and then we say sudo service stop stop uh, real service nginx reload note that this is all mint based stuff and since our php is installed so i can say php fpm start Okay, php sudo service php start. Okay, t is missing. So php has started. Now, if you see this directory, I have lots of stuff here. Now, make sure it is owned by yourself and www data. You can uh, own it by www minus data or uh, in group and on or both so a safe uh, option is you do a charm with your login name um, because uh, to create where www first at first place you will have to execute a command like this normal users are not allowed to make a directory in slash where once you have executed this command, you will have to do a chown on this. Say my login name is Rit. Now, in the beginning, you will have nothing in that. So, this first part is your username and the second part is group name. And then you can say where the blue or you can say dot because I am inside the current directory. Once you do that, you say that uh, um, sudo chmod group plus white uh, um, dot right so what will happen is now www minus data that is your web server will be able to write that now the question is what is this www minus data so in the nginx configuration which i sh shown you which i have shown you is the server configuration there is a main configuration which is called nginx.conf now this says user is www w minus data that means nginx the web server will run as www minus data 
Now, if you see PS minus EF by grep, we lift all the buses and then, then we grep for nginx. Then you see this is your master process which is running as root, but actually this guy will not be doing anything. It will only accept connections and forward those to the worker process. Now look at these worker processes. These worker processes are actually running with ww minus data because that is your user directive in nginx configuration. That is why suppose you want to have an uploads directory over here in YWW and you want to upload something through PHP. So you need this, right? Now with all this done, we need to test our setup, right? So we launch Emacs and then we we create a file slash www php info dot php and here um, I'll put a very simple uh, command that is uh, php info okay and let's uh, okay let it be there okay I'm not getting syntax highlighting that is quite surprising or text php mode PHP mode is not there. Now that reminds me, if you want to get PHP mode support, you have to get this. You should read this document. As we go along, I'll show you how to get this done. Now this is a fresh, brand new installation of a Mint system, so I don't have many things installed. You should look at this uh, particular URL and you go and read here. Uh, or I'll show you later for, for now we proceed with this so we save this file and now on your local host you visit the URL php info.php okay it says bad gateway now why it said bad gateway bad gateway means we are trying to connect to port number 9000 right now, so we check if there is anything running at port 9000 nothing is running okay so our configuration was wrong of that of nginx right so what we do is we again go to nginx and now since this is not running on a port so definitely it should be running on um, the Unix domain socket so we comment this out oops not this we comment this out and we uncomment this okay and then we just need to restart and the next reload so we now say okay bam so you see it uh, gives you a lot of information about nginx uh, uh, sorry php and I'll explain these things as we go on and we try to learn more about PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, MySQL, PostgreSQL. We will learn things one at a time and more stuff will become clear over a period of time. So for now, <coughs> the point of getting this file running was to show you that the setup the base setup is ready now one of the most popular things which run uh, with php is apache there is something called lamp lamp stack linux apache mysql and php so we have seen at least two parts of that linux and php mysql we will wait for mysql in my next part i'll show you how to install apache and how to configure php for that Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy.